please subscribe and visit our website, VictoryForHope.com. Hello, 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 everybody, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Love, Lunch, and Lex. I am Lex. Welcome. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content. Okay, so this series is a family-friendly version of my Tarot After Dark that I stream on Friday evenings. This is about all types of love, okay? This is about romantic love, platonic love, and that which is, which is shared amongst your friends, your family, and even your children, okay? All right, so today I want to discuss how um, we can better embrace and accept the differences in each and every one of us. I know that as a parent, as a sister, as a cousin, as a daughter, as a romantic partner, there are certain things that I do expect. There are certain things that I want and desire when it comes to my family and the people that I love and caring about being able to be productive in life, to be successful and to do well also in things that I expect from them. But at the end of the day, whether it is my son or my brothers or my cousins or a friend, I have to allow them to be who they really are. OK, and that is what I want to talk about today, creating a climate of acceptance. OK, I want to read um one of my devotional cards and um, I saved this from last week because I felt it was something that we need to discuss a little bit more um, with the instant gratification that we get from social media and people wanting to portray to live a certain way or to be a certain way. We put a lot of harsh judgments on ourselves as well as the people around us and we just need to accept that you are not this person. This person is not you. You're all going to do things different. You're all going to behave differently. You're all going to react differently. OK, so I want to show you this. And it does say a climate of acceptance. I'm going to read this to you. And it says, if we could generate a climate of acceptance, perhaps we wouldn't need to feel challenged by people's differences, but instead could all learn to accept that each person is unique with his or her own unique way of thinking feeling and seeing the world so we wouldn't always expect them to think and behave like us but instead could accept the strength in variety and diversity if everyone is exactly the same do you know how unproductive and unsuccessful this world would be the greatest minds and thinkers are those people who did things differently the ones who thought outside the box, the ones that took that extra step, that took that extra leap of faith, the ones that had the courage to keep going when everybody and everything around them told them to stop. But because they kept pressing forward, they have made groundbreaking discoveries that we benefit from in this world. OK, I want to share a couple of scriptures with you. OK, when and I see this a lot. When um, you have, and I want to talk specifically about parents who have children who are different in the way that they either learn, different in the type of activities and their physical abilities. Maybe you're a sports person. Your, per your, your child doesn't want to play sports. Your child wants to be a scientist. Or well, what if you want your son to like this girl well he's not sure if he likes that girl or not or any girls for that matter okay judge not and ye will not be judged luke 6 and 57 when you're looking at another parent and how they handle their children and how they do things you don't know what that parent's going through you don't know the type of things that that child has been doing to lead up to that point when you see things like that you simply have to pray for them Wish them the best and sometimes just mind your own dang business. Now, certainly disclaimer, if you feel that a child is being abused, then report that. OK. I'm not saying ignore nothing to that extreme, 
But at the same time, different people are going to do things different ways. And I see it a lot in community where there are parents involved and people judge parents, judging other parents or people who have never been a parent, judging parents for how they uh, interact with their own children. OK, um, there was one more scripture I wanted to um, share with you before I went to my next point. Oh, yeah. Romans 15 and seven. Accept one another. Then just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Who's to say that your way is the right way? We all know that there are multiple ways to get a job done. OK, when it comes to family, you your family members are going to do things to get under your skin. They're going to frustrate the living hell out of you. Your children are going to frustrate the living hell out of you. But you have to learn to love them in spite of what you feel they should do, what you feel they should say, how you feel they should act and separate yourself from their situation. Parents, I know we want to protect our children from all the horrible things in this world, but they got to learn. I know you want to protect your sister or your brother or your cousin from a bad relationship or a bad situation or from messing up in school. You can only do so much. You can't force them to do or be anything that they're not. That goes into this last point that I want to make. And that is when it comes to romantic relationships and partnerships. You have to learn to accept your person for who they are. I am not saying to accept or to tolerate disrespect and inconsideration from your partner. But what I mean is, if you are someone who is very driven and goal oriented and you are seeing someone or you are with someone or married to someone who is content with the same job that they've been had for the last 25, 30 years, who are you to tell them you need to get up and you need to do this? You need to start a business. You need to boss up. You need to do this. They like what they do. They enjoy what they do and they're pretty damn good at it. So who are you to tell them they need to do something else? Now, <laughs> so I've been in this situation before. If the person is not content or happy with their current um, state of their employment or their state of living and they're constantly complaining or wishing and coveting what someone else has, then that's different. Encourage them to be better and to do better and to be their best. But if they're happy with how they're living, then you just got to accept that. And if that's not good enough for you, then you have a decision to make. But if it's good enough to them, who are you to tell them they should be different or to do different? OK, I'm telling you, if you learn to accept that early, what you can and cannot put up with, what is or is not for you early on in a relationship is going to save y'all years of a headache. OK, I promise you. So before I go. I'm going to pull an oracle message from my Whispers of Love. And what we are asking for here is how to attract more loving to our lives, how to be more loving to ourselves and to others, and also how to maintain and sustain any existing loving relationships that we currently have. OK. All right. I know that I had a lot going on with there um, with all the acceptance and, and whatnot. Y'all, it, it was bothering me because I have so many people professional wise and just in general who can't accept people for who they are. And you got to let it go. Or perhaps there's something. I'm going to say this before I pull the card. Perhaps the reason why you have a problem accepting the other person is because there is something about the way that they are free and comfortable in who they are that makes you jealous. Maybe you wish you could be as carefree. Maybe you wish that you could be so courageous. Maybe you, they, you wish that you could have the confidence that they have to do the things that they do. And that annoys you. 
something you see in them makes you uncomfortable about something that's within you. You need to you need to check that at the door. All right. So this card, let's see. I'm going to do them both. I'm only going to read the um, extended description on one of them. Okay. The first one is number five, and it says show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. One of the amazing aspects of being loving is that love also supports us. It is good to remember that when we are kind to others, we look for opportunities to show kindness. When we are kind to us, when others are kind to us in return, we are motivated to pass that kindness on. Take a moment to show kindness and bring more love into the world. And that is clarified by number 41. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Accept them for who they are. Give them the support. Show them the kindness and the acceptance that they need, that you need, that everyone involved needs so that you can live in harmony. We can all coexist together if we just learn to accept that everybody is not the same and to accept and embrace those differences because that's what makes each and every one of us special and unique and us all being different is what makes the world go round. Okay, y'all. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you would like to reach out to me directly, the link to my website is in the description box below. And that website is victoryforhope.com. Take care.